Hi everyone, I am Jeffy Bad the Alien, and today we're talking about my hellish weekend. Oh boy, that was a weird ass weekend I just went through. Alright, so some of you have noticed that I did not stream on Saturday morning. Well, I can explain why in just a moment. Uh, I would have put it in the title, but YouTube algorithm doesn't like when people talk about this, so I'm just gonna address it directly in the video. I got my second COVID vaccine shot from Moderna. Yay! So in about two to three weeks, I should be fully protected from COVID. Well, fully protected as much as you can be from this. So nothing is 100%, but it sure beats not being vaccinated. So please, even with what I'm about to tell you, I still think that I did the right choice. It's for a great cause. It keeps people around me safe. And it keeps me safe as well. So, alright. So I got my shot on uh, Friday morning. And I felt fine for a few hours. And managed to uh, do my uh, Friday night stream without any issue whatsoever. But towards the end of it, I started feeling a little bit funny. Having uh, a weird feeling, so to speak and some uh, skin sensitivity which I always tie to fevers so I've been through that type of uh, problem before so I kind of felt it coming up so I ended the stream I took some Tylenols not sponsored by the way and I hopped into bed and that's when the fever hit oh my god it sucked ass it was like 26 celsius in the room and I still had the both a little cover and my comforter on top of it and I was still shivering so that that made it difficult to fall asleep but I did eventually manage to but I woke up at around 5 and the shivers were back so I went and got some more meds and hopped back into bed and fell asleep for about 2 more hours and then I got up and I just uh, ate a small little uh, breakfast and then just positioned myself on the couch for a weekend of lazy entertainment which is pretty much what i did the whole weekend to be honest so beside the fever i also had uh, i felt tired a lot i'm not sure how much of that is a tribute to the numbers of hours i actually slept uh, from friday to saturday but i feel like i'm not exactly 100 percent yet still i mean i feel much better now i'm recording this on uh, monday monday morning and I feel almost fine. I still have some uh, muscle aches and some a little bit of stiffness in my neck. Other than that, I think I'm good. So the effects went by pretty fast. And if someone is to tell you, all right, you might possibly feel bad for two to three days, but then after that, you're you're protected from dying from COVID because they said like 98.5% of deaths are from people that were not vaccinated. So I feel like that's a good thing. But yeah. Kinda sucked, but I'm glad I went through it. I'm glad I went through it. Gave me some chance to wind down a bit. And also watch some movies I did not have time for beforehand. So for example, I watched the uh, old 90s uh, action movie called uh, Heat, which is about uh, bank robbers and a detective trying to stop them with uh, Robert De Niro and Al Pacino and Val Kilmer. So yeah, a lot of... Uh, a star studded cast for that period of time and there's even a very young uh, Natalie Portman in it I quite enjoyed it it's a good story and also is what inspired the uh, game devs that made uh, Payday the heist both of those games which are actually quite fun if you have not tried uh, Payday 2 I recommend you give it a shot it's a fun co-op heist simulator I, I digress I also watched a horror movie called uh, It Follows which is a movie about a girl that has a sexual encounter with a guy and then starts getting chased by a weird paranormal entity that seems to be sexually transmitted. So whoever passes down now is uh, free from that uh, presence, at least until the next person dies. So basically that entity slowly walks toward you and can take any shape it wants to make it easier to get to you. But it can never go faster than a walk. It cannot go through walls. It has to open doors or break windows. So there are ways to fight against it. But it is not killable. It's a fucked up movie. And the premise is quite new. I've never seen a movie quite like this before. So if you have Amazon Prime, I recommend both of these movies. 
so these were the two that stood out for me. I also watched a shit ton of YouTube content, a lot of Sea of Thieves videos. So if you enjoy Sea of Thieves content, I recommend Fuzzy Bond. Pretty informative, dreamer, and content creator. So, I found these videos very helpful, and also very wholesome. In a game filled with uh, bloodthirsty pirates, it's fun to see someone not take the game as uh, hard, and still manage to pull off some heists, but you know, all in good fun. Anyway, so that was my, that was the highlight of my weekend, just hanging out and watching stuff, and trying not to focus on all the muscle pains and my fever, so... Yeah, that was my weekend. How was your weekend? What did you do? Let me know in the comments. And also, if you had similar experiences with the uh, uh, side effects of the vaccine, let me know also. I'm curious to see how people react to it. Because uh, my host family has a much different reaction to it. My host mother, for example, only got a sore arm for both of her doses and then nothing else. And my uh, sister-in-law, nothing either. It's like... It's a, it's a lottery. It's like spin the wheel of uh, side effects. What would you get? Anyway, still worth it. Still worth it. So if you haven't gotten it yet, please. If you're eligible, go get it. It's not even a joke. Go right now. I'll wait. No, I won't wait. I'll finish the video right now. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also smash that like button. And also look at all my other videos. There's something you will like, I'm sure. Alright. Thank you so much, and remember, tomorrow is a new day. Anything is possible. Take care, and see you soon. Alright, hold on, gotta go back to my natural habitat. Wait, what the fuck? I was memeing. Don't tell me this actually... Oh my god. Holy fuck, really?